We've all seen badly shaped bonnets like this, but it's much better to shape them properly like this. And so when I bought a new Robert Mackey bonnet, I had to firstly put it in some water, make sure it was completely soaked, and then shape it to my head. Sonus was helping out as well. And you've got to make sure that you shape it several times over really to, to make sure it's a good fit. And this ensures that every time you stick it on your head, it falls the right way. Now this of course isn't traditional, um, well it is, but it's not historical because these bonnets would have been kind of um, pushed to different sides to avoid sunlight, heavy weather, all sorts of things. But with these style of bonnets, it's much better to have it shaped properly. This particular bonnet is what's known as a Kalmanic bonnet, which has a slightly bigger crown than the Balmoral bonnets. Now, historically, the title Kilmarnock Bonnet um, was the same as a Balmoral Bonnet, but Robert Mackey in their catalogue have them as separate. Uh, this one, being slightly larger, is great for tours. When I wear this bonnet to keep the rain off um, and also to keep the sun out of my eyes. So as you can see, it's shaping up nicely here. And then you've literally just got to wait. And so I decided to practice some of my old hockey skills. I used to play for Dundee University, by the way. And then I decided to try out some shinty skills. Great ways to pass the time while shaping a bonnet. After that, I decided to write a pipe tune this is called the Newly Shaped Bonnet. <laughs> 